Over the next few clips I'm going to be looking at Philidor's defence, and that arises after e5, knight f3, and now d6. I think Philidor's defence is actually quite a good opening for black. It's very solid, you can get your, well, in, in ideal circumstances you get your pieces out to decent positions, and strategically I think it's quite sound. The problem for black is actually reaching Philidor's defence, or reaching the ideal position. And if we're clever with our move order with white, we can actually upset black very badly. So d4 is the continuation I'm recommending. No big surprise there, the, the standard move, claiming the centre. Now there are three main continuations here for black. You can give up the centre with d4, but, well, clearly white is, is fine there. We will be taking a look at that in, in some detail. You can play knight f6, we'll look at that in, in the next clip, or you can play knight d7. And here is where I think it's very important to get the move order right, and it's going to upset black. If you play knight c3, excuse me, knight c3, then black can reach the, the typical mainline Philidor position. So here, bishop e7, castles, castles. And this is kind of the starting point of the Philidor. And this is not a bad position for black to play. In fact, this is quite popular over, the, over, the recent, over recent years. Black often plays with a6 and with b6 and bishop b7. And it's, yeah, it's really not so bad. Very solid indeed. But that's what we have to avoid, and we can actually avoid this. First of all, we play bishop c4. So move order is very important. And this is a huge problem for black. Let's look at the simple moves first. What about knight f6? Well, this actually loses to in the most basic manner. Pawn takes pawn, we play knight g5 and f7 drops. What about knight takes? Excuse me, knight takes. Here we exchange and we can play bishop f7 check, a very basic trick. Now, we don't actually win the queen because black gets it back with this, but after these moves you can see that white is a clear pawn up for nothing. So knight f6 doesn't work. OK, what about bishop e7? So that covers the g5 square, and then black wants to play knight f6 and get castled. Unfortunately, there's a problem. We take on e5, and if pawn takes, queen d5 wins instantly. And if knight takes, <coughs> we exchange. And we play here and we hit f7 and e5 and white is a pawn up for nothing with a tremendous position. OK, you're starting to appreciate the difficulties that, that black has here. <clears throat> black could compromise and take on d4, but after this it's clear that he has a big space advantage. This was the continuation, I think, of a blitz game. Hubner against Kirchner, and White just had a massive space advantage here, and started advancing the pawns on the king side. OK, well, what about c6? Now, that covers the d5 square, so there are no tricks with queen d5. In fact, this is still very promising for white. So we take on e5. Now, there's still the trick with knight takes e5. Let's just see that very quickly. And bishop f7. Perhaps black could avoid that with queen a5 check. But this somehow doesn't look great for black if we play... 
Well, knight c3 is, is of course possible. And then hit h5, uh, queen h5, yeah. And then come back here. Okay, so also looks very pleasant. Or we could play... I've never really thought about this. Here. And now, knight c3. And I think if we, we can castle very quickly and go for f4, and it looks excellent. Or perhaps castle on the queen side might be even better. Queen here and castle the queen side. Okay. Also not very good. So pawn takes pawn. And now we play knight g5, hitting f7. Well, there's only one decent way to defend f7. That's knight h6. Already very pleasant for white. Uh, because the knight is just misplaced. So we can just castle. And black can't really get a very satisfactory position here. For example, here, castle's kingside. Okay, let's play this. That prevents bishop g4. Put the queen back here. The knight is just terribly placed on h6. And white just has a great position there. It's just time to build up pieces, bring them across from the queen side. Alternatively, well, okay, in, in our main game, black played bishop b7. And now there's a very nice trick. We play knight e6. So this has to be taken. And now we take on h6. If pawn takes, then this wins instantly because queen e8 allows queen h6 mate. So after bishop h6, black has to attempt knight b6, but this is pretty bad. Um, Anand had this. A couple of decent players, a few decent players have had this position with white. Lucky them. Um, Anand's opponent tried g6. <coughs> and the queen came back. Basically, white is no material down here, but has this bishop embedded on this beautiful square on h6, preventing castling. And of course, these pawns are very weak indeed. Um, and no material down. Let's just have a quick look at how Anand played this. Now, Anand's opponent played bishop f6. Okay, Anand is just developing very calmly, just wants to put the knight on f3 or maybe c4. Okay, this is this is Anand's game. And well after this move, I don't know if the game went on much longer. Um, or whether black resigned here, but it does look pretty bad. You know, maybe we can swing the bishop round here, maybe queen c3 as well and knight c5, but clearly white is in total control. So g6 is not a huge improvement. Um, in this game, black played king f8, but that allowed devastation with f4. Let's just have a quick look, and now I suspect there, well, there are several moves that win, but f5 is the flashiest move. If knight takes c4, then f6. Let's just see this very quickly, actually. And if pawn takes, queen g4 wins, but knight a3 is very flashy indeed. And if knight takes, we play rook here. And rook g3. Okay, so if pawn takes bishop, we take on e6. Threatening something very nasty, threatening... A checkmate with queen f7, and after this, that was the end of that with queen f7 coming on the next turn. So just to recap, black's problem is getting to the Philidor. Because in this position, bishop c4 is already rather uncomfortable. Now, in the past, black has often tried to get to the Philidor by playing knight f6, and that's what we're going to look at in the next clip.